Shalom. What's going on? Brother Kamal Mahal here. Back at it again. First things first, we'll give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors, apostles, and elders from GMS and learners true from. And uh, blessings to the Akim out there preaching his word with whole heart, true sincerity. And uh, blessings to 144,000, the one, one third, the first fruit of the kingdom of heaven. Uh, Abba Ratasai, one of those men, and all the Akim out there preaching his word with whole, whole heart, true sincerity is one of those men as well. And um, Shalom to the brothers out there preaching his word as well. I'm speaking in different tongues, looking at different nations. Shalom, what's going on, brothers? Today, um, I'm in the spirit of, um, you know, talking about Esau. You know, um, you know, Esau always wants to, you know, say that they're, you know, welcome into the kingdom of heaven and his salvation, which they're not, you know. And they don't understand that, you know, they're, they're particularly wicked. They were made to be wicked. And they were made to, you know, to be wicked for the Israelites to see the difference between uh, good and evil. So, you know, cause that's what true guys need to be. Um, um, you know, we also know, um, I've been learning from the apostles, you know, double honors to the apostles, um, you know, getting more knowledge and call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah for allowing, you know, set up great men um, in this truth uh, to, you know, teach teach the young brothers um, in the truth and to understand breakdowns, understand, what, you know, what's going on in the scriptures. And I call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah for opening my mind to allow me to be awoken, to be able to understand the scriptures. Because, um, you know, people, you, it, the, people, the uh, scriptures can be taught. And it could not be understood at all. And just maybe Heavenly Father just made, you know, had you blind for a reason, you know, because the elect um, is set up since the beginning, of, since the foundation of the earth. So, you know, if you're the elect, you're the elect. If you're not, you're not. That's just what it is. But we still have to preach on the highways and hedges, you know, to, you know, seal the elect because it's a numbers game. You know what I mean? So two thirds of our people are going to perish and we're looking for the one third in 144,000. So, you know, this is a filtration system. So we pretty much. Um, going through it, but you know, um, through the midst of the situation, Edomites are there, and they're the wicked. You know, they're the ones who, you know, the, you know, they they the ones who can conspired along with the Hamites and the Arabs and the Spaniards as well in the transatlantic slave trade to put us in slavery. You know, they're the ones who stole our heritage and culture. They're the ones who, you know, put us on the slave ships and you traded traded us for musketeers and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they lie, they whitewash everything. Um, you know, they just they just vagabonds, you know what I mean? Vagabonds are just something that uh where a person goes from place to place and just dwell, you know, wherever they go. They really have no real uh dwelling place at all. They just kinda go and conquer and steal and kill and then go to somewhere else and uh, I guess that's we can call that colonizing. And so that's what the so called white man did, which is Esau, Edom. You know, they came to Babylon, America, and slaughtered our people, the native Indians, and then made a little homeland, made states and, you know, and said that they're the actual Jews now, and especially in um in Israel, which, you know, they, they got that land in nineteen forty eight. And and now they're 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 so they're the so called real Jews. What I find very interesting is very wicked, because they they are the wicked, and that's the that's the actual um, point of my video that Esau, the so-called white man, is the wicked, and I'm gonna get into scriptures to prove that as well. Um, how is it that how is it that the so-called the so-called white man Esau, because um, you know the Jews over there are just descendants of the Amalekites, which is basically what was that um, Esau's grandson, I believe. Uh, Salak, if I'm wrong, but that sounds very correct. Um, I heard that before. And the Amalekites, descendant of Amalekites from Amalekite, is actually the grandson of, of Esau. I believe that's correct. Um, somebody can, you know, correct me, but I know Amalekites are Edomites and also from that, from that lineage. That's a fact too, though. So, um, how is it that Edomites were the people who enslaved the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, and they're the chosen people too? That, that's just craziness. That's just craziness, man. How is that possible? How is the wickedness of Esau... The chosen people of of the Lord, of the heavenly Father Yahweh Yahweh Shah, but they're the same people who enslaved, the same people who enslaved the so-called Negroes, Latino, and Native Indians of the, the Israelites of the Bible, and then they're the ones who enslaved, and they're the chosen people as well. That's just craziness, you know what I mean? That's just out of control. You know, that just doesn't make any sense. And so, let me get my first precept um, on these Edomites. Um, you know, so that way we can know, you know, that Esau is the so-called white man and also is made and is considered the wicked. Uh, Malachi, 
Let me get into uh, Malachi 4 and 1, I believe. And it says, um, um, is that, uh, maybe 1 and 4. It's a lot. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Um, Verbo, they come up, they shall burn up. Man, that's a pretty good one anyway. <laughs> I mean, shoot, that's what's going to happen to the, this Babylon in general. Um, but let me go to Malachi uh, 1 and 4. And it says, uh, it says, where, whereas Edom saith, now Edom is, just means red because that's what the so-called white man is. They're, they're red. They're not white. They're red because their blood shows through their skin. You know, so that's what, that's what that, the actual reality of the truth of what they are. They're shades of red, not white. There is no white person and there is no black person. We're shades of brown. Now, my 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 particular hair on my on my head is is brown, but it looks black now. So this is very darker than my natural skin. I am lighter brown, brother. Nothing about my skin is, you know, you know, dark like that. It's not going to happen. Or the or the letters on on the screen that you're seeing. That's particularly black. And the white part of the screen is white. Edomites are red. And it says, uh, whereas Edom say if we are impoverished, but we will return and build desolate places. That's what they do. They, 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 you know, they, they build, they build and conquer and destroy. Say if, it says, thus saith the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh have indignation forever. So, you know, once a, once a, uh, first, first things first. Edomites, a lot of Edomites, most of Edomites, they believe that they're Gentiles and they believe they're they're the Gentiles of the New Testament that's that Paul was speaking to in Corinth and Galatians and the Romans in general. And they believe that their 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 particular bloodline um is welcomed as you know adoption of you know the Israelites when when Romans nine and three uh, Romans nine, the, Romans the ninth chapter talks about who are Israelites who pertain to the adoption. It says the Israelites. It didn't say, you know, any other nation. But see, Edomites got this thing where, you know, their wicked mind itself has this thing where, you know, they're in, they're, they're adopted with, and they're along with. No, 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 no. See, they're so wicked minded, man. They don't want to. They, they don't want to face the facts. The fact that you know what I mean. Paul wrote the letters, you know, especially in Corinth, or, or when he went to the Romans and he went to Galatians or whatever. He was speaking the people, you know, that the Israelites that were among them. You know what I mean? That's just like saying I made a good example um, earlier today, where I was saying, you know, let's just say I'm the nation of, you know, I'm I'm the, you know, you know. Um, uh, let's just say uh, Michael. So let's just say my name is Michael, and you know what? Let's go to let's go to the actually what it is. Um, my name is Kamar Mahar. So you know we're going to go to the come the come the Kamar the Kama the Kamaites. You know, so my family is the Kamaites, and we follow laws and statute and commandments of the Heavenly Father Yahweh Yahweh Shah. And now one of my children are actually following the wicked. Which their name is Bob. So now, that, now, now, now the Bob bikes go a different way. Now what happens is once you once one of my kids were acting like the Bob bites and do what the Bob bites are, what the Bible was actually calling them was, you know what? You a Bob bite now. Like so, because remember the scripture says, don't go to the ways of the heathen. Then it's Jeremiah, Jeremiah 10. And it says, Don't go to the ways of the heathen. And so the heathen are the Gentiles, but with this particular situation is a Gentile actually mean another nation this means the actual edomites so they were they, they are the gentiles especially in the old testament so what happened was as a kamaite my particular bloodline was acting like the babites and took on the customs and did everything the babite did and did nothing like a kamaite and so now we're going to call them you are a babite now but there was a time of, there was a time at hand where the heavenly father sent one of my people and one of my one of, uh, sent a Kamaite and actually sent the Kamaite to go over to the Babites and speak to that Kamaite that's acting like a Babite. And so we're looking for our brother of the flesh of the bloodline of the Kamaites who are over dwelling with the Babites. And so we're looking for that one brother that's a Kamaite acting like a Bobite, which we're going to call him now a Bobite, if that makes any sense. You are a Bobite now because you're acting and you're doing what they do. 
So the, we're, you are a Bob Bite. But what's going on is our job was to go over to the Bob Bites, find that Kamahite, and teach them to come back to the ways of the Heavenly Father because you are part of us. That's what the grace period was doing. So that's, that's, what, that's what Paul did. Paul went to the Israelites who were dwelling and lived and grew up and, and was taking on the customs of those particular other nations. Not all of them, the specific ones who were Israelites. But the wicked so-called Esau, Edom, you know, they believe and manipulate and, you know, they're the wicked. Like, let's go back to the scriptures, Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return to the build and build desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they, they shall build and I will throw down and they shall call them the border of wickedness. Like you the border of wickedness. I mean, like that's literally saying you are the wicked. Like you're the wicked in general. Like these people can act wicked, but you are the wicked. Like you are evil itself. Like you are it. You know, I mean, you know, excuse me to be all like that. But that's the way my spirit works and how I explain and do my thing. And it says, the border of wickedness, the people against the Lord have indignation forever, forever. He don't fucking like you. He hates you. That's what it is. Now, now you know they're the border of wickedness. Now, when you we go into the scriptures and when it talks about the wicked and the wicked this and the wicked that, he's talking about Edom, Esau. So you can go to like, um, what's this, Job 9 and 24. You know, just to, you know, brothers know about this scripture like you know, like no other. It says, "The earth is given into the hand of the wicked." Now, who who do we learn who the wicked was? Edom, Esau, the so-called white man. He covered the faces of judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Because you know, Esau always goes, and you know, when 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 where there was Jake's so-called Negroes, Latino Native Indians, in place of judges and being in place of of different, you know, uh, um pictures and different um, artifacts and different things of nature it gets becomes whitewashed now generations past generations of people believe that these particular sacred people or different things of nature are the, are the edomites because they put their faces on them and covered up the so-called negroes latino native indians and covered them up and it says if not where and who is he real rap like who the wicked if if y'all not the wicked then who the fuck is then who the who is Yo, man, like that, man, that shit is crazy, man. I don't know what's up. And let me go to the Psalms. Let me go to the Psalms. Um, double honor to the Apostle Gabari. Um, you know, I, I, I know the scripture now uh, regarding Edom um, from his video today. Um, Psalms 58, and I believe uh, it's one on down. Um, let me go. Yeah, so let me go to two. Yeah, in, in, in heart, you work wickedness. You weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Absolutely. Just, just, just know that you know Esau Edom's uh, blessing in um, Genesis twenty-seven and um, in thirty-nine and forty talks about um, that the blessing will be the uh, will be the fatness of the earth thereof, and also you shall live by the sword. And that's what Esau did. He, wherever Esau goes, he uses the blessing of the sword, and he destroys and conquers whatever he can. That's what he does. He destroys and hurts, and it causes all violence. Think about. Um, you know, the, their their descendant, which was Cain. Didn't Cain kill Abel? Because Cain would be in the spirit of like of uh, the descendant of the Edomites, which Cain killed Abel, his brother, which Abel would be like um, Jake. You know what I mean? The so-called Negroes, um, Latino Native Indians, he'd be a representation of them. And Cain would be a representation of, the, of Esau, Edom. You see what I'm saying? And it says, th Psalms 58 and 3, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray and soon as they be born, speaking lies. Yo, Esau has been lying something stupid, but we're in a time now where the so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Indians are, um, you know, are actually, um, you know, you know, covering, lifting the skirt of the Edomites. We, you know, there's, we're, we're going, there's, there's camps all over the nation and all over the four corners of the earth exposing Esau for all the lies they're saying that we're the Israelites and y'all not. Definitely not. And matter of fact, I'm going to go into the scriptures and prove that because, you know, there, it's impossible for them to be the uh, the Israelites, especially when you go to, you know what, let me go to one scripture in the spirit, Isaiah 2 and 1. And it says, uh, uh, let me see, um, is it Isaiah 2 and 1? Let me see, exalting the hills of the nation to flow. Um, 
Let me see. Was it a rebuke, a plowshare, lifted up? Um, rebuke many people that shall beat their sword, plowshares. Uh, of hills, nations. Okay, and it says. Spirit. Okay, so yes, you know what? In the spirit. So let me, I, I'm, I'm going to read this down. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's house, shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all the nations shall flow unto it. See, this didn't happen yet. This, this is a prophecy right here. And, and, and listen to this. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up the mountain of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, to the house of, of, of the God of Jacob. Not no other nations, to Jacob, Israel. And he will teach us of his ways and he will walk in his, and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah from Jerusalem. And here, listen to this. And, and, he, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into the plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks and shall not lift up a sword against nation. Neither shall there, they learn war anymore. Now, if the Jew, if they're the real Jews over and over in Israel right now and they established their land once and for all, so-called in 1948, you can't tell me that right now there's more wars than ever before. So they the real Jews. How the fuck is it fucking so many wars and 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 what's going on with the situation? Why is it so many wars and y'all the real Jews? Cause you... I'm getting mad about this shit, man. They ain't the fucking real Jews, man. I'm going to end off with this precept right here, man. This is, pisses me off, man. I can't wait when Yahweh Shah just destroy these. Oh, my goodness. Revelations 2 and 9. I'm going to get up out of here. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Because the Israelites of today, are, are their, they, their, their works are great. Their tribulation is, is greatly, and we're in dumb poverty. We're at the lowest of the totem pole. And it says, and I know the blasphemy of them which they say are the Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. He is to be exists by Hashem in the name and the only begotten Son of the Lord and Savior. He delivers Yahweh Shah by Hashem in the name of the Holy Spirit with Kakwadash. Double honors of apostles and elders from GMS learners true from and blessings to the Akimat there preaching his word with whole heart true sincerity. Um, blessings to 144,000 and one third. First fruit to the kingdom of heaven, the house of David. House of, uh, the house of David, the Biaf, Dawada, and what's going on, Shalom to the brothers out there speaking in different tongues, looking in different nations, Shalom.